YouTubers have been making the cringiest apology videos for all time. Like every time a YouTuber messes up or says something they regret, they've got to come out there and apologize. However, this recent display from KSI has been the most pathetic display in a while. I mean, this one really takes the cake. I, I haven't seen an apology this pathetic since True Gordy, the cuck. <laughs> yeah. So. And watching it doesn't feel real. Like it feels like he's being, you'll see it. It feels like he's being held at like gunpoint or something. It's, <laughs> it's insane. It's scary. So. Now, what could KSI possibly be apologizing for? I mean, he's such a safe, innocent YouTuber. Well, apparently on a recent episode of uh, whatever the f*** this is on the Sidemen channel, <laughs> some word game. Sidemen Sundays, I think. Sidemen Sunday. KSI said the sense, I mean, it was all censored, but he said the uh, Pakistani slur. All yeah. right, a four letter Pakistani slur. <laughs> I. Look, we need points in it, all right? I don't <laughs> no, mean, no, I don't I don't mean this it. maliciously, but the word Sorry, I'm sorry. Look, it's, look, we need points. I don't... Guys, come on. Now, this was edited in their original video, right? So I don't even understand why people are mad. They obviously censored it, but it's because they're laughing at a silly sounding word. So therefore, now KSI has stepped too far and he must apologize. So obviously everyone was calling him out on Twitter and Kavos, who's like the number one KSI, anti-KSI, anti-Denji <laughs> account. He yeah. obviously had the clips ready to go as soon as KSI was getting some media pressure. And uh, well, we have this clip right here. It says a lot like, you can't, we're in a space that we actually can't get canceled. It's impossible for us to get canceled. Uh, like, obviously I've seen you. Like this, like this. Yeah. <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course he's there with Logan Paul too. Yeah, he got canceled <laughs> for the whole forest thing years ago and all that. Nice, and the crypto stuff recently. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, no, I, feel like I see getting canceled as a vacation. It's it's literally just a You're gonna get vacation. clipped so hard if you do anything bad. Uh, yeah. I can't get canceled on vacation. You do something bad, they're gonna be playing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll be like, cool, I guess I'm having a vacation, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, don't you just love it when like the perfect thing happens? Uh you, that you just pull up right there just to fucking own them. Yeah, and also this other guy really tried to save his ass. He was like, you're going to get cleft so hard. Chill you're going to get owned. And KSI immediately doubled down. He's like, yeah, I'm on vacation, guys. <laughs> okay. It's like, well, okay. let's see how that vacation is going for him. First of all, this guy absolutely sucks. You know, say what you will about Andrew Tate. But KSI did come out and say, thank God Andrew Tate got banned. Yeah. Celebrating cancer culture. So you love to see when it happens to them. Now, first of all, the Sidemen issued out their company apology. And uh, this one was just hilarious, the way that it starts up. During yesterday's Sidemen Sunday, a racial slur was said during the video. <laughs> we accept that it was completely unacceptable and inexcusable. The fact the incident was made light of on the show was wrong and compounded the hurt. We deeply regret this and would like to truly apologize. So they go on there, which is just hilarious on its own, but it's not. it doesn't even compare to KSI's own apology himself like once you guys see this you guys will be horrified yeah let's get into it i want to watch <laughs> okay so right off the bat this is insane where is he he's in a room with a press statement typed out for him mask off <laughs> yeah he's just openly <laughs> reading a pre-written statement yeah and by the way before we watch it i want to give a little bit of context we spent like 20 minutes finding this original video because everywhere else on the internet has posted this but they like either clip it weirdly or like cut it strange or yeah. add contrast to it but this is the original video from fred talks fighting the description says he's some guy who does like mma interviews and stuff so basically he hit up some guy and is like sitting down doing an official press like interview about this and it's just like really weird he seems very tense during it yeah this is nuts yeah Hi. Um, morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> so, I, you know, I want to read a statement which I've written to make sure you know, I express myself as clearly and cover everything I want to say. Uh, first of all, I want to address uh, a recent incident in a video whereby my actions uh, have affected many many people affected many in the south asian community 
The South Asian community. What I, the f does that mean? <laughs> You're going to hear that a lot in the rest of this video. Yeah, they say that all the time, but I've, I don't know what that means. I've never heard this before. The South Asian community. What? They're all the same? You yeah, it's like, just like a group of the community. Why, why would you Asian? group together like so many groups of people that like are not the same and do yeah. not get along? It's you know? like saying the American community. It's like, what do you mean? The There's American so community? so many different what? kinds of Americans. Like, yeah. That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to offer my deepest and most sincere apologies for my words and actions. In a recent video, I use a racial term that is offensive to so, so many, especially in the salvation community. There were no Again. excuses for what I said. <laughs> and I, I recognize I've caused a lot of hurt and disappointment to so many people, so many people that look up to me and my ignorance has, has only reinforced the negative stereotypes that have existed for way too long in this country. Um. Uh, I, want to express, <clears throat> I want to express my heartfelt regret uh, for what I said. And I want you to know that I am genuinely ashamed and deeply sorry uh, for any pain or suffering uh, I have caused suffering. I, I realized that my yeah, pain and suffering that he's caused through his words. Like, it's one thing when he says, like, I've deeply offended so many people. Like, First okay. of all, nobody really got that mad at this. But second, I mean, there were people that were mad. Obviously, it was the cancel culture, you know, chimps on Twitter. Obviously, those people were mad. Yeah. But pain and suffering. No one what, did they like started inflicting self pain on themselves and they heard this context. Like there was that, absolutely zero pain caused by this and no suffering at all. And that's another thing too is the context of this. They almost he almost is acting as if a clip resurfaced him talking about Pakistani people and like going off on them and saying like horrible stereotypes about them and all this other kind of crazy shit. Like and calling for their like genocide, genocide or, something. or something. Yeah, like the context of the clip was also his team name was like the N words and the other team was like brown and brown. Like there's a whole bunch. It was they were they, being racist yeah. against like everyone. Yeah, they were just like all around. I mean, sure, you can apologize for it if you're like, I'm sorry I was offensive. But the way that he's going to this is 100,000% PR. Like, and also just taking it to the most extreme. Yeah, it definitely is PR. But even by PR standards, this video, it looks like I'm watching a torture video right now. Yeah. Like, he genuinely looks like they're holding guns at him <laughs> while he's reading this. You know, have consequences. And, you know, as a public figure, I've a responsibility to use my platform for good. Like, does it not sound like he was about to cry there? You know, like he had, uh, maybe I'm pushing it. I will admit <laughs> that. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too crazy with this, but I will just say this video is just frightening. I mean, this is just by you, by YouTube apology standards. Normally YouTube apologies are like pathetic and hilarious. And yeah. they're also not made exactly in this style. Like it's more so a very informal video where they'll sit down on the floor and it'll be a really informal video. And the audio sounds like shit. And they're like, hey guys, I've made a mistake or whatever. He's doing the same thing, but the vibe is just way different. He's in a room, he's speaking to a group of people that we never see. We don't see what the audience is. Yeah, cause he like sits down and kind of like looks around. He's like, hey everyone, like what's up? Yeah, it's like, who is he give, Who is he delivering this to? Yeah. Weird. Rather than perpetuating discrimination. And this week I have failed to do this. Privately, I have taken the time to engage in very, you know, early conversations with some people from South Asian Early Asia. conversations? The community. From the South Asian community. <laughs> All yeah. of them. Yeah, he's gone to the whole community and had real conversations with them. Dude, the South Asian community reminds me of like Latinx, you know? Oh, I mean? yeah, Latinx or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. They just all group them all together with this bullshit ass term that none of them actually like. Yeah, I don't, I just can't imagine. Like I said, it just doesn't make any sense. It's like the white community, the <laughs> the black community. It's like there's so much more depth to it than that. It just doesn't, I've never heard this term before. Yeah, in my it sounds life. made up. I don't know. Yeah. And months ahead, I will continue to educate myself you know, on the rich history and diverse cultures of South Asia <laughs> and the struggles faced by its people. He I'm has to go to a history to lesson to forgive himself, really? Doing better, uh, being a better ally, and use my platform to uplift <laughs> and uh, uplift, uplift uh, marginalized uh, voices. Now I want to say- This is so again, put on. Uh, yeah. Uh, how truly, truly sorry I am for my action. I know that you know it's going to take time and effort to really regain the trust and respect of those I've hurt 
and I'm prepared to tirelessly work tirelessly. to make sure I make amends. You know, I hope my sincere apology and commitment to educate myself will be a step towards healing and unity. Healing. And I fully understand that my actions uh, will speak louder than my words. Wow. So, so now KSI yeah. has to dedicate the rest of his life to working to uplift the South Asian community so that they can forgive him for laughing at a word. Yeah, and a word game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is just... Who is watching this seriously? I, I have no idea what the appeal is here. This feels more like it's an appeal to sponsors than an appeal to anything else. Yeah. Like this is saving his ass from sponsors, saving his ass from companies. I don't see this and feel like this is directed towards anyone who actually exists. Yeah, no, this just feels like... And that's the thing too about these apology videos. Like I always get so much heat for saying this, but apologies on YouTube really don't mean anything. Like I hate YouTuber apologies because even if the person is genuine, I'll only be able to tell that through their actions, right? Their yeah. statement means nothing to me. If you really feel like you've messed up, which I don't think KSI has messed up here at all, but if you feel like you've messed up, just don't do it again. Yeah. You don't have to tell us that, but he has to tell the sponsors that probably. But just to further highlight how ridiculous the situation is, other members of the Sidemen team are now apologizing for being in the proximity of a slur. <laughs> okay, I'm not even making this up. Yeah. So Bazinga puts up, regarding the events that took place in the last Sidemen Sunday, I wanted to personally apologize for my reaction. They're apologizing for their reactions, their facial features. What? Dude, this is reminding me of the AIMS video that we made like, I don't know, a month ago? <laughs> yeah. Where everyone was mad at them for laughing and celebrating someone who had rapists on their podcast. Dude. Now Ethan's apologizing for smiling and laughing in a funny situation. This what is, is just happening? making me racist. <laughs> this really is. Oh, what? <laughs> I, uh, I apologize. I apologize. I'm I sorry. didn't mean that. <laughs> We failed on our responsibilities to take care of the influence we hold. As mentioned in our statement, educating ourselves and our audience is key in the pursuit of doing better. Amazing. And it wasn't just him. Mini Minter, on a personal note, I want to apologize also. The ignorance shown can't be ignored, and I genuinely am sorry from the bottom of my heart. It won't happen again. How do you know that? It wasn't even your fault. You didn't even say anything. How do you know it won't happen again? It won't happen again. You have to control other people's minds now? I can't do that, bud. Sorry. And then Vic Star even comes out here. His apology is the best. Listen to this one. Following our group statement, I want to make a personal apology to everyone hurt by my reaction to comments made in last week's Sidemen video. As a South Asian, bro, that's not a country. You're not a South Asian, okay? That's yeah. not a fuck. I refuse to believe this is a real <laughs> recognized region of the world. Yeah. That's not a country. No. I fell short of my responsibility to ensure that uh, this racial slur. Wait, what? Wait, I fell yeah. short of my responsibility to ensure this racial slur that I'm sadly all too familiar with is not tolerated nor trivialized. <laughs> this is a mistake I won't ever make again. He's basically saying he should have been like, no, KSI, stop right now. Like Fuck that's you. <laughs> How are you supposed to react that way? What, what are you talking supposed about? to do? This is his responsibility. Cut, cut the cameras. <laughs> we need to delete this footage immediately. <laughs> and also pray five times afterwards. <laughs> like seriously? I don't understand it, man. What is he supposed to do? Speaking of which, by the way, I was joking, but that's kind of actually what happened, at least in KSI's case. <laughs> he went to a mosque to learn and educate himself on Muslim culture specifically. So now we've just gone beyond Pakistan. Now we're just, you know, apologizing for being Islamophobic because apparently Pakistani and Islamophobic mean the same thing, even though they don't. <laughs> okay. But no, he went, he visited a mosque. Look at him. With, the intention of with his obnoxious <laughs> red do <-rag laughs> that makes it impossible not to notice him standing there. <laughs> Even those probably sat on the side, man. They probably didn't understand. They must have. They might have just been like. You know what? Left off a it, it, it was ignorance from what I saw. You know that's and, what and it was. Did I not mention yeah, that yeah, word? Yeah, yeah. That they were, but that's where he's. It's part of learning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's here yeah. to learn about what it is. He's never been in a mosque. He said. Yeah. Why he's never been in a mosque? <laughs> so much gold to be extracted from that clip alone. He must learn the importance. They're literally, these are grown men talking about learning the importance of a word that wasn't even directed or said at anybody. Because again, this wasn't a racist incident that happened on the Sidemen episode. Yeah, no, like I said, this this feels like they're acting as if he called for like the genocide of the Pakistani people. No. Like this is not close to anything that happened. He saw the word in a word game. He thought of it. It's like the South Park episode where, have you seen that South Park episode? Where it's like in blank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And then it's like, oh no, it's now. 
daggers, you know? So that's like what happened here where it's just like, I mean, okay, sure. You can say it's offensive. Maybe make an apology. This, is this really necessary? This, this is, is just, just ridiculous. Pathetic. Yeah. But it is working. We now have a slideshow of very powerful images <laughs> that really show what true education and unity is, it, what it really looks like. <laughs> this is definitely not PR. It's not for the sponsorships and the money. I mean, my heart is trembling <laughs> looking at this. I'm just so motivated and inspired <laughs> by these amazing photographs. Yeah, exactly. This is like the AOC crying at the <laughs> at the border Aww. wall. Picture. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> oh, and then no. she gets up and leaves immediately. Last night, I had a private meeting with KSI, and I see people diminishing the value and importance of it. I felt the need to come out publicly to let it be known what actually happened. I had a long, deep, genuinely sincere conversation with them. As a leader in my community, I don't use my words lightly. KSI came here to Bradford to meet with me in pure intent to start the pathway to right his wrong. And the first step is to gain a deeper understanding and education of his mistake. Mis it, just them saying that, admitting that it's a mistake, but also beating him over the head over it. You know what I mean? It's just, do people not realize the inherent bullshit that this <laughs> statement is? I'm sorry, but it's just like, how can it be a mistake? but also something he has to learn from. I have no idea. Am, am I crazy there? I feel like those two can't happen. Yeah, but they also, he also mentioned South Asian community here in his own instance. Like in this thing, he says- Yes, the, the South Asian South community. Asian history of the Pakistani and South Asian community. So now they've added, it's like two separate things. There's the Pakistani and the South Asian community. And so that's what I mean that this all just feels fake. It's They're like, what are you even talking about? It. Like, what are you even talking about? Yeah. Like, I, I don't even know, is this guy in on it? Is this guy in on the PR side? Or like, what's he going on? He must be. This guy has to be some sort of like Asian or something. Like, why is is he so on? Why does he even care about YouTubers anyway? What is his goal? Public figure. He's a public speaker. So I guess maybe he wants to use YouTubers to spread Islam. Yeah. I mean, this stunt, he maybe. could be legit. I'm just fucking talking shit. But yeah. So at the same time, it's like he's making up. He's using these same terms that I keep hearing that I don't even. This doesn't even make any sense. South Asian community. That's what are you talking about? It's just so generic. It's such a generalizing statement. That doesn't even make any sense. The one thing I will say that is somewhat white pilling about this story is that if you look at a lot of KSI fan accounts, you know, they're reading all of these bullshit statements. And they're like, man, this is retarded. Yeah. Which is great to see. <laughs> like KSI tweets, I think they have like, what, 10K followers? Yeah, like some fan or 3K, account, 3K or whatever. Followers. Some fan account, they love KSI. They're like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, they're like, way this gen has gone way too soft. But of course, Isaac came out here to really set them straight. Bro, I had the same stance as you for the last two days, but I sat down and spoke to some people who were genuinely upset by this. And I disagree with this position now. When you understand there were people beaten and treated harshly and called this, you change your opinion. I don't. <laughs> I'm yeah, not man, changing I, my if opinion. If he said that to someone, I would be like, okay, yeah. But that's not what happened here. No. Not at all. Fuck you, Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who even are you? Why do you have no tweets? <laughs> yeah, zero You followers. only exist to reply to people Wait, and been educate a, them? He's been on a tweet Twitter since 2019. He has zero followers. Zero followers, but and 200 tweets. So you've tweeted 200 times and nobody has cared at all. <laughs> Nobody's been moved by anything. Any point you've ever made has been just completely ignored. <laughs> Total fun. <laughs> Good one.